Sparks in Wichita, Kansas. Now, this is just a opinion. Don't necessarily go murder me if you think there's one that's better than the other. I'm just giving you top five on, off the leash uh, dog parks in Wichita, Kansas. But before we get into all that, please like, comment, subscribe, share. All that fun stuff really helps the channel, helps you stay up to date on cool Wichita stuff, cool real estate stuff. And hopefully it's kind of entertaining and educating um, in the process for all that is kind of our style of how we roll. Um, so before I get into all this, um, I want to make sure to give credit where credit is due. And, you know, I did not write this article. I'm just going to go over it and give you some of my insights on everything and give you kind of an idea of the top five dog parks in Wichita. So who actually wrote this was part of our team at Urban Cool Homes with EXP Realty. That's the mega team that I'm on. You know, Team Home Hero is my partner Rico and I. So we're an individual unit within that mega team. Uh, but this came from an article written by Urban Cool Homes, one of the staff writers we have on everything to kind of give you an insight into dog parks in Wichita and what it's like. So I'm going to go over the article, but also kind of show you where they're at on the map just to help you do some of the research around Wichita, whether you're from here or you're not from here and you're looking into it or just trying to get to know Wichita and what it's like in general. So top five dog parks that are off leech. Let's go ahead and scroll down and get into it all. Um, so the first one we have is Chisholm Creek Pet Resort Dog Park. And as you can see, it's got a pond and a lake for them to swim in, which I think is pretty cool. And this is actually more of a like resort spa type of place for them. You can go take them there and do all kinds of cool stuff, all kinds of grooming, pampering, all that stuff. Just depends on how much you like to spoil your fur babies and get into all that. And if I pull up the map, it's this first location up here. It's kind of just north of Wichita, near the Park City, um, Kichai area. And I'll scroll in to give you can I, kind of an idea of the facilities. Chisholm Creek Pet Resort, as you can see. And if you go to their website, they have a really good website, too, um, to give you an idea of everything they have going on here um, in the back with all the cool stuff they have going on um, for the dog park, the resort, and everything that goes uh, with it on everything. Actually, probably click on this to give you an idea. So Chisholm Creek Pet Resort, go check them out. They have some really cool things for your doggos and um, to look into. I have a whole overview video of all that, um, but that's definitely one of them. They do a lot of boarding, you know, all the things that you can think of um, over there. So pretty cool place to take your doggo for a dog park and all kinds of different stuff. So that's the first one is Chisholm Creek uh, Pet Resort. Let me go ahead and scroll down on everything. Uh, the next one is WB Harrison Dog Off Leash Park. And this one is more of um, just a public park that you don't have to pay for to go to. To take your dog to. Let me scroll out and show you where that one's at. Give me an idea where it's at. So it's more on the southeast side of town. It's another... Dog park, you can take your doggo to if you're close to the area. Uh, there we go. So you can access it from a few different ways, you know, right off Top Street or off a of web road on everything. Um, you have kind of the whole park over here, but then there's a certain area that's dedicated for the doggos so that they can run around and play, have fun, all the things. But that gives you an idea of where it's at and what it all entails. You know, pretty good sized park on everything. Um, but that's what we'd say is probably number two. As you can see, it's kind of just an area with the fence where dogs can run around and play on the southeast side of town. So number two is WB Harrison Park. And then number three is the Canine Rooster Dog Park. Um, you know, it's kind of just another area where a bunch of doggos can run around and play. And it's more towards the west side of town on everything over in the Indian Hills area. I'll pull it up and show you where it's at. So it's over here in the Indian Hills, Benjamin Hills area, a little bit more west, westish, midtown type of situation. This depends on what's close to you on everything, you know. And you know, as you go here, you'll probably make friends of dogs, and your dogs will make friends with dogs. And so it's kind of dependent on where you like to take them. You know, I would definitely encourage you to try them all out. Just if you're in the area, what you have going around, you can see where there's just. Basically big open areas for the dog to run and play and do all kinds of things, depending on what time of day, what size of the dog, 
what the other dogs are like, that type of thing. Maybe make some play dates with some dogs to go over here and run around and play. You know, if you got your dog inside and they need to get out and just let out some energy, these are great places to go do that. So that's K9 Rooster Dog Park off of 21st and um, Ambedon over there. So Indian Hills area, more kind of the west side option for everything. Next one we have on the list is Chapin Park, which is, again, another public park. Kind of these fenced in areas give you an idea where it's at it's a little bit more on the south side of town so if that's something you're looking for if you live in this general area down here chapman park is another public location you can take your doggo to run around and play as you can see it's a pretty good size one pretty close to starlight drive-in emory bark bike park um, and some other things here so you also have like the chapman airfield that kind of thing but if you come down here there's some walking trails right around wraps around the river uh, but there is a dog park area down there as well where you can let your dog off the leash let them run around play some other dogs see who else is in the area get your dog some socializing maybe get you some socializing um, and go from there but that one's kind of on the south side of town to give you an idea where it's at and then the last one and my favorite just because it's close to my house is uh, Murfin Dog Park um, is where this one's at so this one is pretty close to the um, Kansas Humane Society, where there's a lot of dogs that are taken for adoption up there. You can get a lot of dogs there. Um, if you like dogs, if you like strays, if you like rescues and that kind of thing. Um, and so if you scroll into Murphy Dog Park, this is one that I go to a lot. So if you want to meet me there to have a dog play date, feel free. Um, but it's got some pretty nice facilities, some awnings, got a decent amount of trees, and it's got a lot of space let your dog go run around and play. But that gives you kind of an idea of where it's at. You know, I know it says over here, but that's where the Humane Society is at. You scroll over this way and it's it's actually over here. Um, so that one's kind of more on the north, northeast side of town uh, type of situation. Just depends on where you like to take your dog to, to let them off the leash, let them run around, um, you know, on everything. So those are probably five of the top um, dog parks in Wichita. This article is actually really good. If you want this article, uh, let me know. I can get you the link to it, or you can just copy and paste it at the top here just to give me an idea of like what they're like, each one. Um, a lot of it has to do with just part of town that they're on and where they're at on everything. There's also some really good tips on here um, to make the most of your visit, you on everything and all that. But that should um, hopefully help you get a little bit more of an idea of the top five dog parks in Wichita, where they're at, what they're like, what we have going on there. Um, see who you can socialize with this there and help you get to know Wichita a little bit more from a top, uh, dog park perspective. If you'd like more content or information around real, real estate or Wichita, check out some of my other videos, or you're more than welcome to sign up on my website down below and see you know what we can do to potentially help you out or answer any questions you have and just kind of go from there. But appreciate watching as always, and we'll see you guys later.